Hello and welcome to AA Computers and Technology. Last night I went ahead and installed Windows 7 on this Dell Dimension 4300 and I caught the whole thing on video for you guys so uh, you can check that out after this clip. And of course I will post the specs to this PC after this clip because I know you guys want to know more about this computer although I have made a video on it already. Um, I might actually post the annotation in this video so you guys can check the other video out, the video that was all about this Dell Dimension 4300. Um, but so far, getting uh, this PC up and running to run uh, my web my website, so this is going to be a web server, um, has been an absolute pain. Not because of the Windows 7 installation, but because of hardware failure. So I installed Windows 7 on this computer last night, and when I got up this morning to install Apache on the system, um, nothing happened. I pushed the power button, I got nothing in return. Um, so I opened it up, the standby light for the computer was not on uh, inside in the motherboard. Uh, so I assumed the power supply was dead. So I pulled it out and swapped it out for a micro ATX power supply. I think it was around 320 watts. Um, and uh, that uh, definitely solved the problem. The computer powered right up and now I am uh, good as gold. We are going now and I'm going to install Apache right after I finish this video clip. But right next to me, we have our uh, dead uh, Dell Dimension power supply. Actually, as far as I can tell, nothing looks to uh, be blown or anything. I mean, all the all the caps look good. None of them have vented or anything. Now, let me go ahead and switch this to micro mode. There we go. As you can see, oh, I'm trying not to uh, touch anything. It could still be charged. I doubt it, though. Um, all the caps look good. And there are no visible burn marks as far as I can tell on the motherboard so it might be a fuse I'm going to uh, uh, take my multimeter right here and uh, test out a couple of the fuses through a uh, continuity test and hopefully that will turn up something because uh, I don't want to throw out this power supply I mean it's it's a pretty decent power supply um, and I don't like wasting perfectly good equipment so definitely gonna try and fix it um, it'll probably be uh, maybe my next video um, who knows <sighs> Who knows when I'll get to uh, repairing that, but I definitely will, and I'll probably make a video about it, so you can expect that soon. Right here, you can see the micro ATX power supply mounted to the case vent for the ATX power supply, but since this is a micro ATX power supply, the screw holes do not line up with the screw holes on a ATX power supply, so I had to get a bit creative uh, when it came to mounting. You can see the two screws right here holding the power supply in place. Here's one. And then here's another, both mounted to the vent on the case. So here is the little setup we are going to be using. It's messy, but uh, it will work. Here we have our Dell Dimension 4300 with the Pentium 4 running at, I believe, 1.4 gigahertz. Uh, we have 512 megabytes of PC133 SD RAM. There is a 20 gigabyte uh, Mac store hard drive right there. And then we have a, uh, what is this? This is a NVIDIA uh, 440 uh, MX, I believe, uh, graphics card. And then as you can see right here, <laughs> I have this little IDE cable running to this other computer because the DVD drive, DVD drive in this computer would not come out, um, and this is the only other DVD drive I have, so I had to uh, get creative here and uh, connect the two computers together. I am hoping though that this this computer right here does not catch on fire because I have been having some issues with the Best Tech power supply in this PC. Um, it's actually been causing the computer to crash, which shouldn't be a big deal while operating the DVD drive of this computer. Um, but hopefully uh, it won't start a fire because I was messing around with it a little bit um, because it blew a bunch of the caps on the motherboard and I might have slipped when I was soldering and screwed up some traces. Um, so that might be a pot possible potential for uh, some shorts and maybe even a fire. So 
I'm um, hoping that won't happen. It would be cool to catch on camera, just saying. But, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. So let's go ahead and get started with installing Windows 7 on this PC. So here we go. The Windows 7 Ultimate Disk is in. And let's go ahead and power on that Dell Dimension. If I can find the power button. There we go. The DVD drive is already powered up. And it should detect the disk uh, after it's finished doing its self check. We should get a message here in a minute. There we go. Let's go ahead and boot from that DVD. And I did have to uh, reduce the resolution a little bit just so I could film a bit longer. Hopefully it won't take over an hour to install because that's uh, that's the amount of time I have allotted on this SD card. And let me go ahead and break out my timer. All right, so I have my little timer out. Um, let me go ahead and put this into micro mode. And we are counting up. And let's see how long it takes. So Windows is loading files as we speak. Let me see if I can uh, zoom in on that a little bit. There we go. That's a bit too much. No. That's about right. And I can't recall if you need a mouse or not for the Windows 7 installation. Um, if I do, I'll just go grab one real quick, but shouldn't. Yes, we want to install it in English. Um, yep, all those settings are good. You know what? I think I will need a mouse for this. Go grab one. And of course, this is going to be raw, unedited film. Well, for the most part, if I say something stupid, I might have to edit that out. <laughs> I shouldn't have to. Where are those USB ports at? There you are. All right. Do I have a mouse? Yep. Sure do. All right. Next. Um, let's go ahead and install.
So as of now, the installation is complete. Um, the installation itself took about, um, I'll just call it, oh, I gotta change it to micro mode again. I'll just, uh, I'll just call it 30 minutes. I mean, it was 29 minutes and 57 seconds, but let's just approximate that. Um, and we'll just say it took 30 minutes to completely install Windows 7. Um, now, right now, um, this is really just the personalization aspect uh, where you get to put in all of your information um, and set Windows up. Um, but it is installed on the hard drive as of now. Um, and actually, it was surprisingly quick. Um, something like this I would expect to take a couple hours, but uh, it didn't. And actually, I wasn't even sure if Windows 7 would install on 512 megabytes of RAM um, since the minimum system requirement is, I believe, one gigabyte. Yeah, I said that earlier, one gigabyte. And also good news, that computer over there did not catch on fire. Yay, so uh, my house did not burn down, which is great. And real quick before this video ends, I know some people might be interested to see how long it takes to set up your personal preferences in Windows 7 on a PC as slow as this one. I'm sure the interface itself is going to be pretty slow. Um, so I'll just go ahead and take my timer back out and we'll record how long that takes. It should only take about, um, let's see, maybe 30 seconds in video time when I fast forward it. Okay, so I started the timer on time, but I didn't start the camera. So that was kind of silly, but uh, right now we are about three minutes into the setup. And I believe we are going to the desktop now. So when this gets to the desktop, I am going to stop the timer because that's really when we're into the system and no more setup is required. So let's just wait. Oh, there we go. We're at the desktop. Um, so that's about it for this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please post a comment in the comment sections. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful or entertaining. Uh, and don't forget sub to subscribe to my channel. Oh, tongue twister right there. Um, and real quick, you know, I just wanted to make this a quick, simple, um, but uh, informative video that people uh, could use and get some information out of. Um, there was a purpose to this video if you didn't think there was. Um, you know, this is my first video of the summer. I want to make it simple because I've been out of the game for a while. Um, so give me a break. And hopefully the next video I make uh, will be something similar to this. I might actually just do a demo of Windows 7 running on this PC. Um, actually, <laughs> the reason I installed Windows 7 on this computer is because I plan to use this as a web server and uh, Windows XP, which was previously on this hard drive, was just, it's, it's just too insecure. I can't trust it on my home network uh, running as a server. Um, so that's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and hopefully this won't turn out too bad. So I recorded a majority of this video last night, and then when I got up this morning, uh, to turn the PC back on to install Apache onto it. Um, this is what happened. Absolutely nothing. Okay, so uh, let's get to work. Right now, I'm hoping that the power supply did not take the motherboard out because I'm going to be thoroughly PO'd if it did. Um, I'm going to go in my uh, closet and grab a PC with, I don't think I have any ATX power supplies left. I think I have a couple micro ATX power supplies back there that are rated around 300 watts. So that should do the trick just fine. Um, it's just not going to fit in the case. Uh, so let's go ahead and swap out s some power supplies.
Okay, so there's no way I can properly fit in this micro ATX power supply into this ATX case. I mean, the, the screw holes just don't line up, so it's going to be, I don't know, uh, I might stick it outside of the case, or I might just let it uh, slide around in here. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but let's go ahead and fire it up. I have everything hooked up. Let's go ahead and plug it in and hope some standby lights come on. All right, let me go ahead and uh, angle the camera at the motherboard. And when I plug it in, hopefully, hopefully, you'll see some... Uh, Little standby LEDs come on. Yeah, there we go. If you can see it, it's right there. Our little standby LED, and let's hope it powers up. All right, so let's go ahead and give it a try one more time. There we go. And I need to get this monitor on. Well, hopefully we're fine. The system powered up. Let's see if we pass the uh, self-check. Or self-test, whatever you want to call it. Post power on self test. All right, and we're booting into Windows, which uh, is what this video is about. So let's go ahead and get started. Thank God this PC still works.